Hey, what's up, y'all? The best French toast in the world. I promise you, simple ease ain't nothing to it, but to do it. And everybody at or hashtag nature's own. Cause nature's own, I'm going with y'all with the best brioche bread in the world. It's the thick cut nature's own brioche bread. Guys, you gotta get some. And then along with my recipe, ladies, y'all gonna get that ring, that bigger ring that Lexi struck. And men, guys that are cooking for your women, you gonna get anything you want, where you want, and how you want it. Cause ain't nothing to it but to do it. I'm about to show you how to stir that woman breakfast and bags. Simple, easy, French toast. I got y'all, I promise. I've already taken and washed our blueberries off. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take and chop, chop, chop it up. I rinsed the, my strawberries off and I just have them sitting in some water. Um, and we're gonna simply take and chop them up. Okay, you can chop your strawberries any way you like. I kind of like cutting them into thinner pieces. Yeah, I like to take and chop our strawberries really thin because I want some strawberries and blueberries in every bite of my French toast. All right, guys, so what we're gonna go in with is two eggs, okay? And what I like to do with my eggs is I like to take and beat them up, get a little air in them. Cause you wanna mix that egg white and that yolk up really good. This is not the time to separate the yolk from the egg. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is you, I have two eggs, one cup of creamer, French vanilla creamer. And we're gonna incorporate our French vanilla creamer in with our eggs. And we're gonna beat this up. Get it well incorporated, Chef. Okay, next thing we're gonna go in is with a half a cup of brown sugar. You can use light or brown, light or dark brown sugar. So we're going there, half a cup brown sugar. Next thing we're gonna go in there with is with a heaping tablespoon of cinnamon um, and a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. Oh yeah, we get into the French part now. Make sure you don't have no lumps of cinnamon and nutmeg in there. Okay, and then next we're gonna go in with a whole heaping tablespoon of really good vanilla. I wanna taste the vanilla in it. And this is our amazing custard. Now that we got our um, custard mixed up, let's go ahead and sit, sit our, or stick our bacon in a 400 degree oven until it's golden brown. And now guys, if y'all like y'all bacon extra crunchy, extra crunchy, cook it extra crunchy. I like my bacon to look like a Waffle House picture. Let's put the bacon in the oven. Let's come back and get our French toast on. I got y'all, I promise. Our bacon is about done. So let's get ready to cook our French toast. Timing is everything. Let's take a little butter and we're definitely gonna oil our griddle with it. Okay, and you gotta be careful with butter. Also keep that in mind because butter burns really quickly. So I so have to have some kind of control in your temperature. Give it that final stir. And all you're gonna do is go on with your French toast. You're gonna mash that down. You want that bread to be soaked all the way through, okay? Drain that off. Let's place it on our griddle. Do another piece. Both sides, press it down, because you want it this custard to get all throughout our French toast. All right, guys, let's get in here and let's turn our French toast over. Wow, look at that color. Let's get in here, let's turn it over. Put a little butter on each piece. And keep cooking your French toast on like a medium low. Get your um, cast iron skillet or your griddle, whatever you're cooking on, um, up to temp. 
and then turn it down to like a low to a medium low. You have to adjust your temperature according to your, whether you cook it on gas, electric, if it's even or uneven cooking, and then your French toast will come out just like this. And I like this. If you see like the edges, this is what you're looking for. The to you want it to be toasted. You want it to be nice and soft and gooey on the inside and crunchy on the outside. All right, y'all see how good that look? Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, let's go down and place it on the plate. We're gonna start plating everything up all nice. And we're gonna put the last of our French toast down. This is fun, simple and easy, guys. I turned the griddle this way because I was trying to figure out how to get it the most even cooking. Um, and um, on a regular stove, this is a hot plate. You wouldn't even have to have that to worry about. So let's go down and dip our French toast in our batter, our custard. Let's get it nice and wet. Okay. And it's the perfect amount of custard to feed a, fam a family of four. little piece of butter and we're gonna go in with a little bit of the bacon fat. We're gonna get ready to scramble our eggs. Some cracked black pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt because we already have sodium and bacon and that bacon fat. I think black pepper is the key to the most amazing eggs in the world. So we have our pepper in there and we're gonna take and we're gonna beat them up. Then we're gonna go in there with our cheese. Cheese, extra cheese, chef. Yeah. And I love cheddar. And let's get this all mixed up. Cheese, extra cheese in this. Then we're gonna hit it with some fresh fruit all over it. Some strawberries and blueberries, chef. Oh yeah. Fruit makes French toast amazing. Then let's hit it with some whipped cream. How good does that look? Okay, let me get in here. And take a bite. I need me a blueberry too. Some of that whipped cream. Somebody get in here and look at that. Now that's a bite. Mm. Man, if it ain't on the side of your face, I don't want it. I ain't got y'all. I promise.